Hi guys, um, I just wanted to make a quick video to show how much can fit into one of my all-time favorite uh, Poland bags. This is a number nine, a uh, numero nuf is what they call it. Um, I have it in two colors. You can see my black one is the one that I got first. This is that uh, cute dumpling bag they have. This is uh, the original size. They have now come out with the mini and a micro. I do not own um, either of those. I feel like this size is perfect for my needs. Um, this is um, probably, I would say, a medium size bag. So I love it so much that I also got it in cognac. I'm going to demonstrate on the cognac one since it's a little bit better, um, easier to see with this color. So this bag comes off looking quite large on camera and even in the photos on the Polan website on models wearing them. But I was surprised when I received my first black one at how much smaller it actually was than I expected. It is somewhat wide, I would say, at the base. It's pretty wide, but it's not a large bag. It's one of those bags that looks so cute, um, medium to small size, but it fits a lot. And I will show you. The only thing I would say, and there's a lot of great reviews on YouTube of this bag, very detailed reviews with uh, mod shots and uh, talking about all uh, the details and craftsmanship and everything. Um, my review is not about that. Um, I will mention, as same as many others have mentioned, that the opening of this bag is a little bit restrictive. There is a magnetic closure here. I actually still have the blue tape on it, so it's not as strong. Um, when you remove the blue tape, it becomes really, really strong and holds really well. But yeah, so the opening to this bag is somewhat restrictive due to its design and the handle uh, being this top carry handle that does not lay down. Um, but I can tell you from experience because I've been using the black bag for over a month now, almost daily. I have not used the cognac one yet because I bought it for more for spring and summer. I haven't had a chance to use it yet, but I'm looking forward to using it later. Um, I can tell you that if you love the design of this bag and you use it often, you do end up getting used to the opening and how to get the items out, how to put them in. You kind of just get a hang of it and find your own way how to conveniently um, use it and it hasn't been a problem for me at all um, you just kind of work with it that's one of the things about Poland bags because they're so unique and the shape is very unusual sometimes you have to kind of work with the shape and be a little bit more flexible but I can see how uh, maybe some people would be, you know, it would be a deal breaker for them. So I just wanted to mention it. So like I said, this is the opening. And there's a zip pocket in the back. And I will show you what I carry in this bag. It fits a ton. And keep in mind, because the bottom is so wide, the base is so wide, that your items can't really, like, unless you really pack it tight, then you can maybe place items to where they're standing. Otherwise, they kind of fall over. So I prefer to use pouches in this bag, especially in the black one, because um, if I throw, like, a loose lipstick or something small in there, uh, you cannot have to rummage around to find it. I think I only throw, like, car keys loosely in there because I don't need... Um, my car keys to um, get in or drive my car so as long as they're on me they usually just sit at the bottom so what I typically carry I have this vintage Louis Vuitton pouch I believe it's from an old bucket bag that used to come with an old bucket bag here I just have some tissues I have a lip gloss a Bluetooth I have a purse hook for this bag I actually like to hang it on a purse hook 
when I'm at the restaurant or somewhere else where I need to set it down because this bag does not have feet, so I don't want to set it down on any suspicious surface. So it's just kind of a catch-all pouch, non-emergency items. So you have to angle it in if it's just fine, except for you need to angle everything and place it down vertically and then turn it and it goes in perfectly and sits down along the front of the back with no problems. I have my little catch-all pouch that I showed in another video. This is my emergency stuff. It goes with me everywhere. Same thing. I maneuver it in. I have a card holder, which I usually keep in a little zipper pocket. Zipper pocket is very generous. It's deep. It's wide. You can put even like a card, card holder and your phone in there. Actually, let me get my phone case to demonstrate. This is the case from my phone. It would also fit in there. I have a large phone. It's a Galaxy Samsung A51 5G. It's a larger phone and it fits in there perfectly. So I'm sure it will fit other sizes. I have car keys that I just throw in there loosely. I have six ring key holder. I have a hand cream, obviously, that would fit easily. I have a comb in a felt case. We have a compact hand sanitizer, sunglasses with the case on fit just fine with no issues. I have a pair of gloves that would also fit. I'm not going to demonstrate. Um, now what I wanted to show you, what else I wanted to show you. I have a, an umbrella here. It's a smaller size, I believe it's 12 inches, kind of a compact umbrella that fits perfectly if I wanted to carry an umbrella in my bag. Usually I keep it in my car, but it would fit. Another thing I wanted to demonstrate, um, I have the Kindle Paperwhite. This is a 2021 version. I believe it's 11th generation, I'm not sure. But um, the reason why I wanted to mention this is because um, this is my first Kindle I ever had. I bought it um, over last Christmas, over the last holiday season. I never owned another one. I've never owned the previous version. But from all the research that I've done, I found out that this is actually a largest one that they have. So if you have a previous generation pre-2021, it's more compact. It's smaller. So this is the larger one and it fits in this bag and i was so glad to discover that it fits in this bag because i just recently had a doctor's appointment actually a couple of doctor's appointment where um you know how it is a doctor's appointment no matter what time you get there you always end up sitting there waiting in the waiting room so i was able to bring my black bag and bring my kindle so the way that it fits is again you go in vertically and then you turn it and it fits beautifully i don't know if i can show it because the bag is already full of other stuff but i usually just kind of put it up against the front side so it's not blocking the use of the pocket i do use all of my pockets in my bags so uh, the front does not have a pocket so i put it up against the front that way it's out of the way it's not dividing my bag it's not getting in my way of getting other things it also still closes and one of the main things that I love about this bag is that it doesn't change its shape it is so weird I've actually I don't think I've ever owned a bag that looks exactly the same when it's empty as when it's stuffed I mean it's pretty heavy now it has a lot of stuff in it um, I still have room. I still can add an umbrella. Uh, you can uh, most certainly carry a water bottle in there as well if you wanted to. I don't carry water bottles in my bag. I would have it in my hand with me. But yeah, this bag just, you know, the weight changes. But the look of it, you can't even tell if it's empty or if it's filled just because it's just this design of this cute dumpling is so 
unusual so once again i need to get my kindle i turn it while it's inside i grab it by the corner i turn it it comes out easily same thing putting it back i didn't have any trouble putting it back in there real quick when my name was called to go in to my appointment very fast very easy no fiddling around i'm assuming it would also fit any kind of small tablet of a similar size maybe mini ipad and um things like that so this is what i wanted to show i highly recommend this bag i love it so much i want it in every color that they offer i wish i could have it in every color um but i highly highly recommend this bag i hope this was helpful um please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below i'll do my best to answer them have a good day